What do I need to know about divorce? I asked the divorce man. I was about to preach a message to hundreds of people on the topic <clears throat> and so I wanted to know from his perspective what I needed to know and I won't soon forget his answer. He told me the sad story of his own divorce, of years and years of a lack of love where two people stopped serving each other, where things fell apart. The feelings were gone, the trust was gone, the mutual service was gone. And so he went to his church and he went to his pastor and he, he tried to talk and the judgment and the verdict and the do this came lightning fast. Even more people in the church came to a conclusion that quickly. So what should I learn from your story? I asked him. And he came down to just one word. Listen. It made me think of James chapter 1 where Jesus' brother said, everyone should be quick to listen and slow to speak. If you're in my position, if, if you're a spiritual leader, or if you're a Christian and, and you love someone who's thinking about a divorce, if it's your sister, your daughter, your best friend, uh, your roommate, your, your coworker, can I encourage you to learn from that man's wisdom and be quick to listen? It takes months, years, sometimes even more to get to the point of divorce. There's so much of a story, so much of a heart that we need to understand and people really don't care what we know biblically about divorce unless they know that we care about their divorce. Be quick to listen. Or if you're on the other end of that conversation, if you've set in your heart that this is the path you're going to go, can I encourage you to listen to these words? Be quick to listen. To a pastor, to Christian friends, to family members who love you and love God, who care about your feelings, but they don't care about your feelings so much that they'll throw out the Bible passages that guide you to the best possible, most blessed position. I wish divorce never happened. I'm sure you do too. And God absolutely feels the same way. But in a world where marriage is hard, when things are difficult, be quick to listen and slow to speak. Be quick to listen to Jesus who is so full of truth and be quick to listen to Jesus who is even more full of grace. Hey everyone, it's Pastor Mike. As you were listening today, could you think of one person in particular in your life who could really use this message? I have a hunch if you take just a second, someone's name or face might pop into your brain. We'd love for you to share this episode so people just like that, that you love and that God loves, can learn more about God's love. So take a moment, share this episode with someone you care about. Thanks so much for spreading the good news of Jesus and have an amazing day.